According to one account, Rose first met the Ninth Doctor when he was fighting the Ottens. She helped them take out the Ottens by throwing cabbage at them, and then had tea in the TARDIS. Prose, Dr. Ninth, on the 4th of March 2005, at the end of her day's work shift, Rose was asked to give lottery winnings to Hendrick's chief electrician, Wilson. Unable to find him in the store's basement, Rose wandered into a storage room, where she was almost killed by living plastic creatures called Ottens, when the Ninth Doctor pulled Rose away and ran with her. Escaping together inside a lift, he pulled an Otten's arm off. The doctor warned Rose he was going to use explosives against the relay transmitting to the Ottens and told her to run for her life. The doctor destroyed the store shortly after Rose escaped, leaving her jobless. Meeting the doctor again the next day when he tracked her down to her flat, Rose still had the arm from the store. The arm latched onto her face, and after a small skirmish, the doctor deactivated it and left, telling Rose to forget him. After searching for online information about the doctor on Mickey's computer, Rose met with Clive Finch, who showed her clippings of the doctor's appearance through history, though she dismissed him as a conspiracy freak. She returned to Mickey's car, where, unbeknownst to her, Mickey had been replaced with an Otten duplicate, and they went out to dinner at Tony Joe's Pizzeria. At the restaurant, the doctor found the Otten Mickey and pulled his head off in a scuffle. Escaping from the Otten Mickey's attacking body, the doctor and Rose entered the TARDIS, where the doctor used the head to trace the signal of the nesting consciousness. TV. Rose. However, they were pursued by Ottens disguised as living statues before making their way into the consciousness's base beneath the London Eye. Prose. Rose. Where they found the real Mickey alive. When the consciousness refused to leave Earth and began the invasion, the Ottens took the doctor prisoner and confiscated the anti-plastic he was holding. Unable to escape the nesting consciousness base without access to the TARDIS, Rose used her gymnastic skills to kick the Ottens and the anti-plastic into the vat containing the nesting consciousness. This saved the doctor's life and destroyed the consciousness, foiling the invasion. Escaping with Rose and the real Mickey to safety in the TARDIS, the doctor asked Rose to travel with him. She declined, so he left before returning and stated that the TARDIS also traveled in time, causing her to kiss and thank Mickey goodbye before running into the TARDIS. TV. Rose.